How do you do? Okay, so I figured I'd record this video about finding this book about the project we're supposed to do. I just got got off the zoo with the professor and I, I asked if I can create a different kind of video. I, th I just didn't want to just read the book and call it a day. I'd be more, I thought it was more interesting to like, why don't you join me to find the book that we need to figure out we're going to read because there's so many books. And to be honest, I can't even remember the last time I went to a library. I mean, besides like the college library, like I go to that, but like to a public like library, mind you, I used to go to this library when I was a, when I was a kid. <laughs> I, this is keep it PG. I used to go to this library when I was a kid, and um, Jesus Christ, I can't even remember the last time I went. I had to be like 11 when I went. It, it's kind of mind-boggling. So let's go look for this book. I think finding the right book that that can express or teach someone from ages I don't know from two to like five. I think it's important because it's gonna change things as you get older, you know, it's gonna lead towards something else. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. I, I don't know specifically like what I want, but I have an idea of like, I don't, I don't want animals. I am tired of the books with animals. I kind of want just people. That's kind of what I'm looking for. So let's go to the library. remember the last time I was here. Jesus Christ. So apparently they told me that I cannot record inside. It's not illegal or anything. Maybe it is, I don't know. But so I I, I, I called and I said, hey, can I record like me going inside the library or whatever? They said, <laughs> I mean, they said no. So this is like the library. Believe it or not, this library is really, really old. Um, I wanted to bring you guys inside and kind of record a little, but the only way to do that is to hide you like in my jean jacket pocket so they don't get mad at me for bringing you inside because you're not supposed to record. So I'm going to record a little if I can, but I honestly don't think I can record that much, but I'll try. Here we go. They're gonna get mad at me. Let's get the book. Let's get out of here. Found it. Yes. Oh, I gotta find the location. Uh, I gotta find that. It says that it would be here. Just finished finding the book. Now we just gotta read the book. So uh, let's go do that. Okay, so this book is called Eric Charles Friends. Here we go. So once there was two friends who were always together. Together they played. And ran. And danced. And told each other secrets. But one day, the boy was all alone. His friend was gone. She had moved far away. I missed her, he said. Wherever she is, I must find her. Then he took a deep breath, continued to count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next page. Jumped into the swift river. The water was cold. Brrr! The river was wild so it took a long time to swim across it. Next page. When he got to the other side, it was really dark. The stars watched over him as he fell asleep. The next morning, he saw a tall mountain ahead. He started up on one side of it. The path was steep. It was hard work. Finally, he got to the top, and then he slid right down the other side. Plunk! The boy landed in a broad meadow. It was a hot day like Los Angeles. 
The grass was very dewy, damp, and cool. He strolled through, he strolled through it. Ah! Because of the heat. Then all of a sudden, it began to rain. Splash, 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 splash. He had to dash through the falling drops. He ran so fast. After a while, the boy felt tired. He fell asleep and dreamed that he was floating on the clouds. Mm. He woke up, he woke up deep in the forest. Dark shadows danced around him. Eek! He rushed out of the woods into a flower garden. He gathered a bouquet. And there was his friend. I found you. He shrugged. I knew you would come, she said. Together they played and ran and danced and told each other's secrets. And got married. Here's a photo. 1932, it's a real story. Relationships, huh? Here I am with my friend in Syracuse, New York. I was three years old and so was she. My German mother took this this picture. She wrote Juni, June 1932 in the corner. When I was six, I moved far away. We never saw each other again. I often think about my long ago friend and I wonder what happened to her. Here's Eric Carl, which is the guy from the story, and his wife, Barbara, Bobby, have been married for quite a long time. This happy fact was one of the primary inspirations uh, and innovations for this book. So the book itself is it's the it's for ages uh, between zero to uh, eight years old. It's about um, falling in, in love or, or having like a friendship or a relationship with someone at a very young age, and uh, understanding even though you're not an adult yet, you can still have feelings or relationships with someone very young. And he always remembered this story with this this person, and he even has a photo, which is incredible. And I think relationships relationships are very important because they make the biggest impact in your life. Like I've met so many people in my life that I'll never forget that come and go, but I'll never forget when I, what I went through with them. And, and I think it's important that we we learn from these these these, uh, these moments. So I hope you guys enjoy the story. That's pretty much it. Later. I'm so happy that I found the book. I found two books, so I figure why not let's just let's just read two books. Screw it. So it's crazy. It's kind of nostalgic, honestly, looking back at here. I used to be a kid when I went to this library. Um I I was like 11, 12 years old, and I still remember when my mom brought me here at this library in Los Angeles, this Lincoln Heights, and we had comic books and all these crazy cool things that I like I enjoyed as a child. It's so like nostalgic. I haven't been here since I was eleven. Like that's crazy. But, uh, yeah, later.